Welcome back to the channel. I don't know what happened. I must have done something right, or maybe it was Corbin posting one of my videos on Reddit. But I've had like a ton of new subscribers. Welcome to all the new subscribers. My name is Kyle Martin, and in these videos, we're gonna go on some plein air painting adventures. It's for all of you who have been here uh, checking out these videos for the longest time. Of course, you know, you guys, old friends are gold. And in today's video, we got a little bit of a frosty situation going on. I think I'm gonna just have a look around where I am. I mean, I've got the farmer's cooperative right behind me. I've got, I'm standing right by the snow, snowmobile trail. I got this nice little snowbank right over here. I'm kind of interested in, I don't know if you can see this Cape Cod house that's right behind me, and then there's just kind of a snowbank where the snow got pushed up right next to the house. Um, I'm kind of interested in that because the snowbank is kind of in front of the house. I'd be interested to connect that shape of the snowbank with the house. I've been in school the last couple of days. One thing that I love about plein air painting is that I can just come out in the afternoon, no matter what was going on, spend an hour or two doing a little bit of a painting. And it's not like it's this major thing. That, it's not like this huge project. It's, you know, while you're in the act of doing it, it feels really good. And of course you're trying to do some well thought out work, but you know, just coming out on a frosty afternoon and doing some painting is is a fun way to cap the day off. I think I'll just set up my easel like right here. As I was pulling up this afternoon, there was bright sunlight and I was kind of excited to paint that effect. I talked a little bit about wanting to connect those shadow shapes from the snowbank to the shadow shape of the house. I think I can still do that, but the light is definitely, the clouds are definitely rolling in, so we have more of a hazy effect of light. And when the light kind of does something different than what you initially thought, it's good to be able to remain flexible. Oh, no, I'm good. The first painter I see outside. Really? It's gonna be cooler. <laughs> it's coming. Oh. <laughs> I know. I know you've been doing this for many years. That's it, man. Uh, take, you keep it off. Hey, I appreciate it. I'll bring some hot chocolate some next time. Hey, cool guy. <laughs> it's good to be able to remain flexible so as these clouds roll in it's not going to be quite the same effect as what I kind of set out for this afternoon so I took time to observe my subject matter in terms of value I'm always thinking about the value before I mix the colors um, but if you just look at the scene and I'll put it up there in black and white and you'll be able to see the different values that I had to work with I've mixed a few colors that are very light in value. Even though there's hazy sunlight, there's still some areas that are being touched by that hazy sunlight. And that's these three piles of paint right here. In this area, we have some piles of paint that are middle value. Now these are gonna be the areas that are in shadow, like the snowbank, the side of the house that's in shadow, all that stuff. Behind the houses, there's a dark tree line the roofs of the houses are dark and also the tree that's in front of the Cape Cod house is also one of my darker shapes. With just these couple piles of paint, I'm going to get this painting started. I'm going to draw my subject in and then I'm going to lay and lay on the shapes of hazy shadow and light.
We're at the end of the painting session and it doesn't at all look like when I came out, but that's just the nature of painting outdoors. As a painter, you kind of have to deal with whatever the weather throws at you. Um, and so today I have something that's totally different than what I thought I was going to do. It's cool and I am cold, actually frozen. So I'm going to pack my things up and get out of here. You just watched me painting in downtown Reedsburg. I got a call this morning at 5.30 saying that school was canceled. Today is a snow day. I started off editing some of the YouTube video that you're going to be watching now. And now I'm out walking the dogs. It's really coming down. In the last couple hours it seems like we've probably gotten two or three inches. It's that really wet, thick snow. So it's just sticking to everything. You can see all the trees around me. It's just like something that would be on a holiday card. And the next portion of the video, we're gonna head up into the studio. Uh, we're gonna work on a studio landscape painting of the Vernon County Sunset painting that I created during the summertime. I think we'll close out today's video by heading to Milwaukee. I had to go to Milwaukee to get some paintings from a showing that I was in. And on the way, I got to skate at, I got to skateboard at Cream City with Eric and April. We grabbed a couple clips with the camera while we were there too. Let's head up into the studio and let's work on this canvas. Probably feel better by the weekend 
Started from nothing. Ooh, I couldn't you now. 